Welcome to 360 Degree Machinery. If you have any questions, comments, or surplus machinery you would like to sell, or for an up-to-date list of available machines, visit us on the web at 360degreemachinery.com. In addition to what is listed on our website, we have 50 plus machines being processed. So check back often as we do not list machines until they have been thoroughly cleaned and tested. Also remember that all of our machines are located in-house and that we do not broker tools to guarantee quality. We're gonna do a walkthrough of a CB three head 52 inch calibrating wide belt sander. This is an extremely heavily built, well-maintained three head 52 inch sander with a constant pass line, meaning the heads move off the conveyor while the conveyor has a 35 inch fixed height. All heads are deep grooved and defect free. You do have a five and seven eighths inch maximum thickness capacity. You do have pneumatic hold down shoes. Up front, you have your diagnostic area of the machine. It's gonna tell you basically if you have low air pressure, if your belt's not tensioned, you have a side door open. Um, it's just simply a little red light indicator that comes on. What's nice about this is sometimes operators get safety locked out of a machine and it's just simply the belt's too far over or they don't have something tensioned and they will spend an hour of your time trying to fix it. It's always nice to have a machine that tells you and it's, it's pretty much fully mechanical. Here's your controls for your three heads. As you can see, they're a little bit different, but they share almost all the same controls. Of course, each one has a start, a stop, head down, head up, and finally to the right is automatic. Automatic basically means when you turn the head on, uh, the head's gonna engage, and when you turn the head off, the head is automatically gonna disengage. Your last knob here is for your air wands. Um, and this control area here is for your air wands as well. It's just your timer and whether you want automatic or manual uh, to save air. Now, when you get to your second head, you're gonna notice that you do see two start buttons. Uh, basically, you do have reverse rotation on that head. Really nice feature. So normally it is counterclockwise. You also can run that belt clockwise. On your third head, uh, you're gonna also see two start buttons and your first is gonna be your low speed, your second is your high speed. High speed is pretty much normal speed, whereas your low speed is pretty much half speed. Um, you do have to start it in that speed. So if you want high speed, you hit two. If you want low speed, you hit one, but you cannot go from one to the other. On your lower left, you have your digital readout. It works. Um, you have your jog buttons. Up, down. These two have rabbits, so your outside are your speed jogs, so, this is so you can jog fast. You can also jog slow. Additionally, to the side of the machine on the lower half, uh, on the paper side, you do have a little hand wheel. So if you just want to dial in like 10, 10,000 or something really small, you just want to creep that motor along, you can do so there. Um, but these are really, really nice, accurate, um, they don't jump. I know we've had other brand sanders where sometimes you hit the button, it just it goes way over or way under. Um, doesn't seem to be touchy, we really like that. The only thing that doesn't work on the machine is this right here. The encoder's broken for it, we didn't replace it, we could, but it just, this gives you your uh, digital readout of that speed, so we would actually measure what speed. I don't think that really matters because you do have a dial here, there is a VFD, and it does go from zero to a uh, little, to about 12. It reads to 10, but, but goes to about 12. And that's really all you need. You don't need to know the actual feed speed. I mean, you do have, a, again, a dial here. To turn that on, you simply come in here, and hit start. And again, you can dial it all the way from, I mean, a really low creep. I mean, it's, as you can see, I mean, this is <laughs> really slow to, We'll go to a mid speed, we'll, go, we'll put it on about five. This is a new feed mat, by the way. That's 10. 
then finally we can breeze that all the way open. This is your emergency stop. And here is your start slash reset button, which you're gonna to wanna to do if you hit your emergency stop or upon startup of the machine. Again, a nice, clean CB. I mean, it is a really excellent machine. Um, you also have to remember that this it has a fixed pass line. What I mean by fixed pass line is this table is set at, so your feed mat is set at 35 inches. So your feed mat is a set height. It's really nice if you're using uh, rollers or if you have this coming off a, a transfer conveyor because the height does not change. Your heads instead raise and lower. So the whole top of the machine raises and lowers off of the feed mat. The first head on this sander is a nine inch grooved helical rubber drum and it's 34 horsepower. Your second head is a 12 inch grooved helical rubber drum and that second head is 18 horsepower. Uh, that second head is also reversible so it does have clockwise and counterclockwise rotation. The third head is also a 12 inch grooved helical rubber drum. The horsepower varies as it is a dual speed head. Uh, so it has a high and a low. High is pretty much a regular speed and then it pretty much has a half speed. Uh, so it's either gonna be eight or 13 and a half horsepower depending on the RPMs that you run that head at. We're gonna go ahead and start it up. Hit the reset button real fast. Uh, I'm gonna drop the heads just so you can see them drop. We're gonna start that first head. Quiet, smooth running machine. Uh, everything does have soft start. We're gonna start that second head, counterclockwise rotation, which is basically normal rotation. Finally, we're gonna start the third head uh, in regular speed or high speed, depending on what you wanna call it. Again, it is soft start, so it's gonna start in the low speed and go on to the higher speed. Hit the emergency stop. Um, I'm gonna reset it and I'm gonna start that third head in low speed. That's pretty much it. That's the low speed. Basically it's a delta Y soft start and it's just gonna stick with the delta and never turn over. All heads are nick and damage free. So you do have really, really good drums in this machine. They're deep grooved. If you have any questions or comments, you could reach us at info at 360degreemachinery.com. Again, thank you for tuning in to 360 Degree, helping you buy with confidence.